uh, hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to finally see the final stage of installation of uh, SACM and uh, before that this is my ninth video I have already uploaded eight videos out of eight seven video you should watch to make a successful implementation okay because if you miss even a single thing you won't be able to install SACM I'm telling you one more time watch all seven videos it is a five minute six minute four minutes video but you need to understand each and everything for example if I show you uh, like uh, here if you miss anything you will get this kind of error if you want to install if you want to make a successful implementation and infra then you should go through all the videos okay so uh, let me begin with this again uh, as I told you I have uploaded a couple of videos in that I, I deployed SQL Server, ADK and this uh, WSOS IIS apart from this Windows pre-installation environment very important even you can see in this uh, image itself if this is missing Windows pre-installation environment installed it is coming failed so you are not getting this uh, this option begin install so you should understand this how to install go through videos and uh, come to 9 video after completing all 8 videos and uh, here I am using two, two server one is active directory and one is SSCM server so I will be installing this role on this server and this is what uh, we have as of now so let me show you my virtual machine so guys this is my active directory as you can see india.com is domain name active directory domain services installed here in DNS and apart from this it is server 2019 standard evaluation version and this is a SCCM server okay so here we will be installing uh, SCCM so as you can see here only IIS and WSUS I have installed and apart from this, apart from this nothing so and uh, except those prerequisites I have uh, installed like SQL Server, SQL Server uh, uh, Management Studio and as I told you I have deployed you know this kit uh, Windows kit and inside that you can see this much information the, uh, when you deploy uh, this package uh, let me show you if, if you download this package and you run this ADK setup so you will get only limited options okay uh, limited options but you need to install lots of inf uh, lots of I mean pa um, you can say packages and all so better you download this as well as download uh, this thing I will tell you here only if I can see uh, it is not showing here but yes this one this package pre-installation this in last video I spoke about it okay Windows assessment and deployment kit pre-installation environment so you can see after installation of that only I'm able to see this much information here inside this uh, this uh, Windows kit these many things and all are required so let me begin the installation installation is very simple I have this setup and run this flash sp flash setup and click install now click yes here give next uh, install see here it is telling you getting started install a configuration manager primary site and uh, install a, a configuration manager central administration site so we are going to with this only because this is the first time installation here we don't have anything and uh, here you uh, you need to assign you know product key uh, so guys we are using evaluation version here we don't have any key so i'm going with this only which is available for 180 days and click next accept all the license agreement here and give next now it will download couple of things from internet so i have already downloaded those things and if you have if you are, if you are installing first time then you should uh, create one folder like this uh, let me show you here you should create one folder i created this and you should give this path okay here like this uh, go to this and put this path here so it will download but you should have internet connectivity because it will be downloading from there only and it will store there so I have already downloaded so I'm not uh, downloading I'm selecting this option and I need to go to that folder only that is in uh, e drive and this is what uh, that folder you need to select and it will verify it will verify all the files downloaded files and as you can see here 14 files are going to be down uh, verified once this verification is done properly it will uh, take you to the next step of installation of 
as CCM. So automatically it will happen because uh, this verification should be completed first. And until or unless you don't complete this verification, you don't download all the prerequisites. You it will not move to the uh, next next step. So connect internet, it will download some around 1 GB uh, files from internet and if you go to property of this folder and I show you it is telling you like it is 1 GB ok 1.07 1 uh, and uh, this will happen once only when you are connected to internet so it is done that verification now it is asking for server language selection so English is selected uh, client language selection so English is selected and now it is asking for a site and in installation setting so here you can give any site code so i'm giving 001 i'm giving site name like ind india uh, bank bng okay and 001 i'm giving and here it is this is a folder where it is going to be installed and click next you can select this install the configuration manager console and give next here now it is asking for primary site installation so join the primary site to an exi uh, existing hierarchy so we don't have any hierarchy we don't have any existing site so select a standalone primary site here and give next here now it is telling you uh, you have selected to install uh, this site as a standalone primary site you can expand this site into hierarchy at a, a later time like that so click yes and now it is asking for database information okay so this is coming fully qualified domain name of this machine and here you can assign uh, like uh, uh, instance name at the time of installation of sql we we get this instance name okay like this so see if you are using default then just leave it as it is but you can make certain changes here data name like uh, you can give uh, once again ind i'm giving and underscore 001 this is the database name i'm creating here okay if you are if you are using some hierarchy and like that uh, as, as we saw in previous here then you will have to give this uh, name here example uh, sql server instance name whatever you are creating so now I just give here it is using 4022 port here service broker port now I give next it is asking database information where it is going to be installed path for that and click next now it is sms provider very important for this sms provider only that uh, this pre-installation uh, is required this patch okay windows pre-installation environment and click next here now it is asking client communication setting so all site this uh, all site system role except only http communication so put this configure the communication method on each site system role okay and click next now it is asking site system roles like install a management point and uh, install a distribution point so which server will take this uh, kind of thing so i'm giving the same server and it is client connection http and uh, now give next year default now it is uh, like diagnostic and usage data click next here by default now it is telling you service connection point setup so yes uh, let's get connected select a server to use the service connection point <laughs> you can select this by default it will come uh, or you can skip this because to connect to the service after setup complete install a service connection point so you can skip better and give next year and this is final summary and it will once again uh, verify will check like uh, prerequisites whether all required component is installed properly or not so as you can see here it is coming warning warning we have uh, in one video i extended schema of active directory it is showing you warning warning is okay it should not come failed and domain level uh, like uh, you know functional level verify permission so everything is okay even you can check this sql server memory in my first video i showed you how to set up uh, sql server memory usage so everything is coming properly and you can see this begin installation option also came but if you fail uh, i mean any one of the component is not uh, installed properly you will not get get this option as you can see here it is coming failed so i'm not able to view this okay so just click now begin install so installation has been begun 
and it will take a couple of times a couple of minutes so till the time i will you know pause this video and once this installation is done i will continue because it is a time consuming process you can see here couple of things what is happening uh, while this installation is going on like you know it is evaluating setup environment evaluating uh, uh, and installing configuration manager dependency generating public key and sql uh, cer certificate removing any existing configuration is there like that setting up server account updating registry setting up sql server database and uh, from here you can check you know logs and all so at the end i will show you this log and all so still i need to wait this much uh so guys now that installation is completed successfully but i will show you a couple of things here okay it took 48 minute to complete this installation as you can see here and it got installed lots of things as you can see from the beginning it evaluated environment evaluating cover couple of things if you scroll down it you will see you will come to know and uh, like 48 minutes is uh, like uh, too much time for this installation and uh, each and everything should be installed properly you can view the logs from here installation logs and if you go to this log it is a big list what and all has happened so far uh, and monitoring couple of things successfully completed monitoring and uh, you can see lots of logs from here so it is good to go for further things now and uh, uh, happy completely uh, successfully completed this installation and the next video will be seeing the further uh, things about it and you can go to here now and uh, start start bar directory trust relationship i'm not going there and it is coming like this okay close all the open app, uh, windows now you can see here microsoft system center okay and here you can see uh, configuration manager console so you just right click here on it and uh, go to more open file location okay and just put it to desktop like this and uh, double click on it it should open i think it will take some time to open again because it is first time initiating so as you can see here it is trying to connect okay to site database and initializing this database is created successfully there is no error in that so it should connect and now you can see system center configuration manager connected to 001 what we had created evaluation for 180 days and uh, this is what uh, we have done the successful installation on ninth video of this course and the next video will be talking about we will learning about all these things how we can manage how can we can use all those things so i will see you in next video till then bye bye thanks for watching for this video guys